Welcome back everyone to another video here today. We are going to the city of Gongju, located in Cheongnam province. It's located about 75 miles south of Seoul and was the former capital of the Baekje Kingdom from 475 to 538 AD. I was able to spend a couple days here during my last visit, so I'm really excited to share this adventure with you today. Home to several UNESCO World Heritage Sites, our first stop today will be at Gong San Song Fortress. It served the city for 60 years during the Baekje Dynasty until the capital was transferred to Buyo in 538 AD. During its long history, the fortress changed hands as kingdoms rose and fell. Several times it was added on to and rebuilt to what you see here today. Situated above the Gungang River, the fortress has a commanding presence of the surrounding area and blends in with the natural landscape of the mountains around it. Getting to the fortress is fairly easy. You can take the 100 bus right outside the Gongju Inner City bus terminal. Going to Sunset, we open from 9 to 6 p.m. and admission is only 1,000 to 1,000. One of the highlights of the fortress includes a small temple called Yang Kun Temple. It was built during the Joseon Dynasty in 1458 and consists of four buildings today. From here, you can walk down further towards the river and see the Gongju City skyline. The Maha Lake of Ocean along with the Yongi Pond. Hidden path will lead you to the area where you can look down into the Yongi Pond and sometimes see some lotus flowers as well. Four gates start the entrance to Gong San Song. Each of these corresponds to one of the four cardinal directions. When you first enter the fortress, you'll come across Gum Saru Gate. From on top, you can see the city of Gongju. At its southern side, you'll find Jinnam Ru Gate. This is where the palace once stood and it features a pavilion at the top and leads you through a comfortable walk of Gong Sang Song's forest. And when you walk along the river path on the north side of the fortress, you'll come across the northern gate of Gong Gong. This leads you to one of the highest points of the fortress where you can enter the Gong Sang Jong pavilion and take in many of the sites of the area. The wall path will take you all around the fortress and can be difficult at times due to it can take about two hours to explore Gong San Song, but it does depend on your pace. There are some other shots from today's trip. Gongju is also home to a Hanak village located near the Gongju National Museum. You can spend the night within the traditional folk village and it has its own restaurant and convenience store so you don't have to leave at night. At the Hanak village you can participate in many of the cultural events hosted in the main hall. During my visit here with the other English teachers we made chestnut cookies and performed a big jade tea ceremony.
Nearby the Hanak village are the remaining buildings of what was formerly the provincial office of Cheongnam province during the Joseon dynasty. Alongside the other buildings in the Hanak village, you can spend a relaxing weekend in Gongju. There was so much to do in Gongju that you really can't see it all in one trip and I'm really looking forward to coming back here in the near future. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you want to get notified on when the next one will be uploaded, make sure that you guys are subscribed. If you missed the last video, I'll go ahead and link it at the end here. And until next time, my name is Harold Larson and this has been Sapphire Kitsu Travels.